It's our belief that makes the river sacred. Our prayers and everything, and our understanding of all this, you know, has helped the river maintain a, a spiritual identity. For thousands of years, native tribes have relied on the river for its salmon and trout, and the surrounding areas for the edible roots and medicinal herbs. The act of gathering those foods is linked to the tribe's religious practices. You know, the Columbia River really brings our people together in the springtime. Well, you know, we have feasts up and down this river. In our family's fish, we continue to fish all along the river here. The salmon are the first to appear in the spring and have been caught by men and women for generations. But this way of life along the river is under threat. As river people, you know, we, we see what's happening in our area and progress in general and the consequences are on the backs of the environment and the tribe's resources. With warming temperatures linked to climate change, four major hydroelectric dams, and industrial pollution, the salmon are endangered and the increasingly warm water is becoming contaminated. From its headwaters in Canada, the over 1,200 mile long Columbia River flows south into Washington state and then westward until its mouth opens into the Pacific Ocean. That water is our life. That's why we say the river is so sacred because without water, man, everything will die. Our people have done this for lots and lots of years. When you go out, you take your fishing line, you cast it out, and you catch a fish. Oh, man, you feel really good fighting and everything. The exhilaration in the body, and you're fighting that fish, and you don't know if you're going to catch him or lose him because you don't know how strong these animals are. With a deep-rooted connection to the river, there's also a duty to protect it for the future generations. And we have to remember that as, as human beings, we weren't the first ones here on this land. In our spiritual way of being, we're taught that you know the animals and the fish and the birds, the mountains, the water, they were all here. And so what we do is really a gift, a gift to all of us to support one another, but also to support um, the river as well, the water, you know, the fish, the deer, the roots, everything that's in the ground, just Mother Earth in general. So that's our responsibility that we have. If it's not preserved, they risk losing not only the foods that the river helps supply, but also their spiritual identity. We were always taught to never leave the river, no matter, you know, under any circumstance. And so, you know, we, with those teachings from our ancestors and elders, you know, we, we will remain. Jesse Wardarski for the Associated Press along the Columbia River.